What's up guys, my name is Aaron, today I'm going to be reviewing Perfect Timing. This is a mixtape, album, project, whatever, that's a collaboration between Nav and Metro Grimmin. I really didn't have much, like, anticipation going into this. I think the main reason I want to listen to this is because I think Metro Grimmin is a really good producer, one of the best producers out right now in trap and hip-hop just in general, and I do think that just him being involved with the project with just his production alone is just something that you just have to give it a listen. I do think that Nav is basically just like a kind of average rapper singer at his best. I really didn't have anything that I really liked all that much about his last project, uh, Nav. Um, it was just kind of generic, you know, pop, trap, R&B, you know, type of thing. I didn't really find that much that I really gravitated towards and they really didn't make me that excited for his future music. But I gave it a listen because Metro Rubin is an amazing producer. And I do think that his production is worth listening to on its own. I do think this is a little bit better than Nav. This is something I would go in the future and listen to over and over again, if that makes sense. Again, what I said earlier, basically the production is basically the best part of the project. Um, Metro Grumman is a really talented uh, producer when he comes to kind of creating these atmospheres that are really dark and really moody. Like the song Hit, which is a collaboration with Southside, it's like really eerie with this like booming bass, these jungle drums, and these unsettling synths. It really creates like a really like uneasy vibe that really sounds really nice to me. And it really wouldn't feel out of place on 56 Nights by Future. Um, that project is really stellar. You gotta listen to it. The song Bring It Back has like this much poppier like sound with the synth that's playing on that. That, with a bubbly synth on that, the hard hitting drum line, and the muted bass too. The song ASAP Ferg is really minimal with the glitchy synth that's on that song, the hypnotic drum line, just a nice bass on that. I do think the production is really stellar on this, there's really like no bad like beats on this at all, and I do think that Metro Roman is one of the best producers and he really proves that with this album. It's kind of like what he did with uh, 21 Savage. The lyrics and themes, there's really not much to say, like Nav is just basically saying what other rappers and singers have been doing for the past like five or six years basically just talking about like money like how much money he has the, the fame that he's acquired over the years the girls that he's sleeping with and you know the girl problems that he's having in the past it's really just kind of boilerplate generic you know rap stuff and it really doesn't to me have much weight or meaning to it at all like it's just kind of background noise to me to me like the delivery is where he really falls flat to me he's basically like a diet speaker knockers who have this like deliberately monotone like delivery that he had with his songs and stuff like that but the speaker knockers would kind of switch up his flow and stuff and he would kind of do different inflections and make his song sound really catchy like if you hear the song money you can really hear like the way that he's kind of manip manipulating his voice to kind of you know sound really different on the songs i don't feel that way with now i feel like he's just kind of going along with the melody of the beat and stuff and it just doesn't really have that flair or anything to it he's just basically doing what rappers are doing nowadays he's just doing the you know, generic thing that rappers are doing. You can hear little glimmers of hope and kind of potential in his music. Like at the tail end of the song, Bring It Back, or through the entire song, Held Me Down. Those are kind of moments where he's kind of doing different things with his voice to kind of change his inflection and stuff like that. But for the majority of this project, there's really not much that he's kind of doing different or anything like that. Like he's just in the middle of the road. There's really not much that he's uh, contributing to the game to me. But I guess overall, this is just kind of average to me. Like probably play this like if I just wanted to just zone out, I guess. But this wasn't something that I would actively seek out over a number of projects. Like there's probably like 15 or 20 projects that I would listen to ahead of this one. The production is pretty nice, it's definitely the standout and the highlight of this album, but I do think the lyrics are kind of generic and the way that he delivers his songs with the melody and stuff, it just doesn't really hold that much weight to me, it's just kind of average to me. So overall I'll give this like a 6 out of 10. It's not terrible, but I wouldn't listen to this again, not by choice I guess. Um, so yeah, those are my thoughts on Perfect Timing, what are your guys thoughts? Did you like it? Did you hate it? Let me know in the comments what you thought, and thanks for watching. Thanks guys. Bye.